Hey everyone, I'm Kurt from Hammerly Ceramics and I'm in the studio today and I'm gonna to try to start doing videos like this, um, hopefully on Saturdays, that are pretty casual, low editing, just to kind of get some practice on YouTube. So today I wanna to talk about one of my new designs for the year. So this is my brain coral design. This is from last year. The surface texture is made by a guy I worked with, Greg. He makes it in Grasshopper for Rhino. And this year I wanted to update it a little bit and I was really excited to finally try and get some texture on the handles. But you can also notice that the texture itself is a little bit bigger scaled. And I think that that plays a lot better with the glazes and it's just gonna work a lot better. It feels better in your hand. And this mold system in particular, I'm really excited about. It's going to be moving forward into other textures and other sizes as well. But I just wanted to go over kind of um, why I made these changes, how I made these changes, um, some of the other changes behind the scenes from other years if you've been following for a while. But this is my 2024 16 ounce brain coral mug. So first of all, beyond the actual design itself, I have done a couple different things this year. The first one is changing what I make my mother molds out of. This is a product called Vitaflex 60. It's a polyurethane from Smooth On. Before that, I was using um, Smooth On Mold Max 40. This um, 60 durometer polyurethane is a lot more firm than the silicone. I've been using silicone for years. It's worked pretty well. It has some properties that are absolutely amazing. Um, nothing sticks to it. It's easier to cast with and it has enough flexibility that you can pull the mold pieces out of it. But the weight of the wet plaster is significant enough that it was causing a slight enough warping that my plaster molds always had some um, issues at the seams where they didn't fit together perfectly. So what I've done this year is changed over to this Vitaflex 60, which is a lot firmer. And what I've done with the designs is that now a, these um, master molds and these mother molds are designed so that I don't have to flex them to get the pieces out. So I'm actually, I won't demonstrate it here, but I'm using compressed air to pop them out. So the two sides here have a little bit of a draft angle. I think it's like one or two degrees, but it's just enough that a blast of air will push the plaster out of this without having to deform the mold and worry about having it hold that shape and then the pieces don't meet up like that. And that has led to a lot better plaster mold. I'm really, really excited about this year. I'm excited to make some bigger stuff, some more high resolution stuff. I just got another new printer. It is the new Anycubic N5, M5 Pro, I think is what it's called and it's a lot higher resolution, so I have some uh, really cool detail work I'm excited for. The, di the other thing about this year is that adding the complexity to the handle, this is the handle mold, and adding that texture piece on has made my handle molds um, three parts, which is cool and it's exciting, but when you add more mold parts, it adds um, more work and more time, but it is definitely worth it in my opinion. So now one mug in total is eight mold parts and we have really efficient ways to cast them and really efficient ways to clean them up. Uh, the beautiful thing about the resin printers and the polyurethane mother molds is that the seams are fitting really tightly. So these molds have very, very little flash in the cleanup. This one came out of the mold yesterday it has had the handle attached, but since then it has not had any of the flashing cleaned up yet. So I'll get a close up of that and show you guys what uh, the flashing looks like. Cause right out of the mold, it's pretty impressive. It just takes a little bit of time. We will wet lap the top of this on the table and then we will clean up these seams with a tool and a sponge and a minute or two or a couple minutes later, it'll be cleaned up and ready to bisque. So that's really the big changes for the molds this year. Um, I'm gonna start showing off other designs and other videos. I wanna keep this short and sweet, but I am right now picking uh, what glazes I want the initial offering to be in. 
These are three potentials. It's probably going to be these two and a slight variation of this one. Um, my handles have also changed a lot this year. Um, uh, here is one of the ones from last year. I'll get a close-up of this as well. But I've completely redesigned my handles from the ground up. Um, not just adding the texture, but the handles themselves are a little bit different shape. I have dove into um, Sub-D modeling in Rhino. It's something that I've only done for one other project before, but it ended up working really, really well for the handle modeling. I was able to kind of change it on the fly. I printed out one prototype that unfortunately is at home, but that prototype had some issues that I iterated through and was able to print three prototypes and land at what I wanted and changing the geometry just slightly with the way that I modeled this one from years before, it was really a pain. And using sub-D modeling in Rhino has been absolutely amazing. So this one for my hands is either three fingers like this or three fingers like this, the pinky on the bottom there. It feels really good even with the texture. Two fingers feels good. Yeah, I. Can't get four fingers in there, but um, someone with smaller hands definitely could. So um, I have been using this one for about two weeks now and I really like how it feels. I like how it looks. Um, ah, I also, I guess I should also mention that I modified the foot. Um, uh, in addition to adding the new year, 24 versus 23, the foot itself is about a millimeter more narrow and about half a millimeter um, more shallow um, depth wise. And that really doesn't make a noticeably dramatic difference on the outside, but on the inside, the dip where the foot is in the cast pieces um, comes out a little cleaner with this thinner foot. So again, those are my brain coral mugs for the year. I'm really happy with this design and hopefully I can actually stay on top of it and um, make more of these videos. So let me know down below what you think, if you have any questions and all that other YouTube stuff I'm supposed to mention. Um, I'll get better at this. This is, this is for practice. I hope that when I get into my home studio, it can become a more regular thing. I, I love YouTube for my own purposes and watch it every single day, various channels that I subscribe to and have for years. So it's something that I'd really like to do for my own work and my own um, future, but we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, have a good day.